is bound by the Federal Code of Judicial Ethics not to respond to these attacks. Trump is picking on someone who is ethically bound not to defend himself. Exactly what you would expect from a thin-skinned racist bully. <laughs> can't respond, but we can. We can tell his story. Gonzalo Curiel was born in Indiana, not Mexico, to immigrant parents who worked hard their entire lives and who were handed nothing. He went to Indiana University for undergrad, and then he went there for law school. In, for 13 years, he worked as a federal prosecutor in Southern California, fighting the Mexican drug cartels as a leader of that region's narcotics enforcement division. He collaborated with top Mexican officials to disrupt the culture of corruption between the Mexican government and the most powerful and deadly cocaine smugglers in North America. And the effort was pretty impressive. On both sides of the border, money launderers, street gangs, assassins were arrested and prosecuted. But that success came at great cost. Witnesses were killed. Mexican officials were murdered. Judge Curiel himself was the target of an assassination plot, and he spent the better part of a year living officially in hiding under the protection of the U.S. Marshals. Later, after his years of service as a prosecutor, Judge Curiel was appointed to the California state courts by a Republican governor who calls him an American hero. He was nominated to the federal bench by a Democratic president, and he was confirmed by a voice vote in the Senate. That's what kind of a man Judge Curiel is. What kind of a man is Donald Trump? Donald Trump says Judge Curiel should be ashamed of himself. No, Donald, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed. Ashamed for using the megaphone of a presidential campaign to attack a judge's character and integrity simply because you think you have some God-given right to steal people's money and get away with it. You shame yourself and you shame this great country. Trump says they ought to look into Judge Curiel because what Judge Curiel is doing is a total disgrace. No, Donald, what you are doing is a total disgrace. Race baiting a judge who spent years defending America from the terror of murderers and drug traffickers simply because long ago his family came to America from somewhere else. You, Donald Trump, are a total disgrace. Judge Curiel is one of countless American patriots who has spent decades quietly serving his country, sometimes at great risk to his own life. Donald Trump is a loud, nasty, thin-skinned fraud who has never risked anything for anyone and who serves no one but himself. is just one of the many reasons he will never be President of the United States. But here's the thing. In spite of these shameful attacks, nobody doubts that Judge Curiel will continue to preside over Trump's case as a fair and neutral judge. Because Judge Curiel is a lawyer with integrity, and that's what lawyers with integrity do. Judge Curiel has survived far worse than Donald Trump. He has survived actual assassination attempts. He will have no trouble surviving Donald Trump's nasty temper tantrums. You know, when, when first asked, though, about whether he would condemn 
Trump's comments about Judge Curiel. Senator Mitch McConnell, the Senate Republican leader said, uh, well, gee, you know, uh, <laughs> Donald Trump is certainly a different kind of candidate. <laughs> After days of pressure, McConnell finally said attacking the judge is stupid and that Trump should, quote, get on script. What script is that exactly? And where do you suppose that Donald Trump got the idea that he can personally attack judges, regardless of the law, whenever they don't bend to the whims of billionaires and big businesses? Trump isn't a different kind of candidate. He's a Mitch McConnell kind of candidate. Yes. He is exactly the kind of candidate you'd expect from a Republican Party whose script for several years has been to execute a full-scale assault on the integrity of our courts, blockading judicial appointments so Donald Trump can fill them, smearing and intimidating nominees who do not pledge allegiance to the financial interests of the rich and powerful. That's the kind. Now, Trump is also House Speaker Paul Ryan's kind of candidate. Paul Ryan condemned Donald Trump's campaign for its attacks on Judge Curiel's integrity. Great. Where's Paul Ryan's condemnation of the blockade, the intimidation, the smears, and the slime against the integrity of qualified judicial nominees and Judge Garland? Where is he? Yeah. Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell want Donald Trump to appoint the next generation of judges. They want those judges to tilt the law in favor of big businesses and billionaires like Trump. They just want Donald Trump to quit being quite so vulgar and obvious about it. <laughs> yep. So look, Donald Trump shows racism as his weapon, but his aim is exactly the same as the rest of the Republicans. Pound the courts into submission for the rich and the powerful. Senator McConnell recently said he's, quote, pretty calm about Donald Trump because what protects this country against big mistakes being made? is the structure, the constitution, the institutions. Mitch McConnell is 100% wrong. Our democracy does not sustain itself. Our constitution does not sustain itself. The rule of law does not sustain itself. There have always been those with money and power who think that the rules shouldn't apply to them, those who would pervert our system of government to serve their own ends. They've tried it before, and they're trying it now. And all that is required for the rule of law and our independent judiciary to collapse is for good people to stand by and do nothing. Now is not the time to stand by. Now is the time to stand up. Now is the time to say no. Not here, not in these United States of America. No. We are not a nation that disqualifies lawyers and judges from public service because of race or religion, or gender, or because they haven't spent their entire careers representing the rich and the powerful. We are the nation of John Adams, a lawyer who defended the British soldiers after the Boston Massacre, and then went on to serve as President of the United States. We are the nation of Abraham Lincoln, a lawyer who defended accused killers and then went on to serve as President of the United States. We are the nation 
a Thurgood Marshall, a lawyer who fought for racial equality and then went on to serve in the Supreme Court of these United States. We are the nation of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a lawyer who fought for gender equality and went on to serve in the Supreme Court of these United States. That is who we are. And we will not allow a small, insecure, thin-skinned, wannabe tyrant or his allies in the Senate to destroy the rule of law in the United States of America. We will not. We will not. You bet. You bet. We are ready for this fight because it is time to fight again, as it has been time to fight in every generation for those four simple words that define the promise of our legal system, equal justice 